This video is sponsored by Raycon. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. They have optimized gel buds for the perfect in-ear fit, are comfortable, and will not budge. Watch. Wow, they really stuck in there. They offer 8 hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life. You can get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. And they have over 49,000 5 star reviews. Raycon everyday earbuds are Siri and Alexa compatible. And if you prefer cable free, they feature wireless charging. Click the link in the description below. Or go to buyraycon.com slash prozd. That's buyraycon.com slash prozd to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Thank you for sponsoring Raycon. Yeah. Time to try 20 different Hershey's products. For those of you who have watched a bunch of these videos, you know I don't like chocolate that much. So this is going to be a real good one. First off, we have your classic Hershey's milk chocolate. Now, in my mind, Hershey's chocolate is just mediocre. Like, it's only good in a s'more or something else. Um, if you ever had, like, real chocolate from, like, Europe, like the Cadbury or whatever, it's so much better. Anyway. Again, it doesn't taste bad, but I don't get a whole lot of joy eating it. Very one note, not that rich. It's like, yep, this is chocolate. This is gonna be the baseline uh, C, C rank for regular milk chocolate. Okay, next up we have their special dark chocolate. Let's see if this is a little better. Okay. It is better. It's got that nice kind of roasted, like toasty, like dark flavor. Almost like coffee or something like that. Yeah, it actually gives it some kind of dimension. So I'm gonna say that's gonna be like um, like a B minus. Like I can go, oh, okay. It kinda, I feel something a little bit. Now something I really look for with chocolate is it's gotta have some kind of texture. So this, this is where almonds come in. Okay. Yeah, the nuts help quite a bit. Not only do they give some nice toasty flavor and texture, but I think it makes the chocolate sweeter because it has like a little bit of a saltiness to counteract it. This is a solid B. But now let's try the one with whole almonds, which I think I might like even better. Oh, this is like a whole bar. I'll just take a bite. So if you look at this, there's only like whole almonds down the middle. So even though the almonds are bigger, you get less almond sensation. I actually think this is slightly worse because I want like a lot of little almond bits, you know. I want that nice crunch throughout. This is just like one bomb of almond in the middle. The rest is just chocolate. Throws off the texture, throws off the flavor. It's not bad, but I'm gonna say like a C plus. Here we have Hershey's Zero Sugar. It's not bad. It's just very muted. It lacks some of the richness. Like the original chocolate doesn't have much richness to begin with, but it's really kind of just chocolate without the milk almost. With that said, it's not terrible. I was worried it was gonna have like a really gross fake sweetener, but it's actually okay. So I'll say this is like C minus. It's not terrible. Hershey's Kisses territory in their iconic foil packaging. Since it's essentially the same exact chocolate in a slightly different shape, I think it's still like a C rank for me. Like, I don't dislike Hershey's Kisses, but they're kind of a waste of calories for me. Now let's go into the special dark. Nice, pretty purple foil. Same thing I'm gonna say about the last dark chocolate. Like, it's an improvement, but I think I like the bar version better because there's less of it. <laughs> So I'll say these are like C plus. And then we have the kisses with almonds. The nice gold foil. I will say packaging wise, these always look very cute, but. 
almonds really elevate it, but I think I like the bar version better because there's less chocolate. Pretty good, but like a B minus. Percy's Symphony. I've had this one, which I'll try in a second, but I've... Uh, how is this different from regular milk chocolate? Is it just bigger? Yo, this is just straight up Hershey's chocolate, but in a different name, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Okay. I had to look it up, because I... I'm like, am I just thinking this? This is slightly creamier than the other chocolate, which is an improvement. It's still just fucking chocolate, which I'm sick of at this point, but... As a bar, I'd say like a C plus. It's this is actually a nice improvement over the baseline Hershey's chocolate, which is pretty blah. This is at least a little bit of a creamier, richer note. Now this one I've had, and I'm all about this because this has almonds and toffee chips, which I love toffee. Not only is the chocolate creamier in this version, it's got those almonds, which are great, and then the toffee has this nice crunch. This nice, rich, buttery crunch throughout. Texture really elevates this chocolate. This is going to be an A+. I really like this. I would definitely get this again. Only thing I would want is just more toffee, honestly. I love toffee, but that's a good chocolate bar. Now, this next one I've had many times because it's my favorite candy. Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Despite all my hatred for chocolate, I love white chocolate and I love cookies. Great. Really nice, sweet, creamy white chocolate. I love the cookie crunch. It's just super satisfying S tier. Now it's time for some nuggets. Ugh. I already don't like chocolate. Let's compound it into an even thicker ass fucking form. This is the milk chocolate nugget. A lot of people say that Hershey's chocolate is chalky and they're correct. This really accents how chalky it is it's so thick and chalky not a not a good thing i really would never get this ever it doesn't taste terrible but it's still like a low c minus now we have the ones with almonds so if you're keeping track i'm sure i'll like this better well still too much fucking chocolate but the almonds really help that's a c plus now it's the dark chocolate with almonds. Are these whole almonds? I'm not sure if these are whole almonds or what, but um, the almond distribution feels off. And I think in this case, this is a little too much dark chocolate. I'm gonna say C. This one, extra creamy with toffee and almonds. It sounds like the symphony version. Let's see if it can redeem itself here. There you go. These would be the ones, if these were in a bowl, I would only eat these ones. Only downside, a little too much chocolate, but still, A minus. I would definitely eat these, but they're a little overwhelming with the chocolate. Okay, now we have the miniatures. Two of these are the same, but Crackle and Mr. Good Bar are different, which I like both of these, although I haven't had them in a long time. If you don't know what Crackle is, Crackle is um, their take on the Crunch Bar. It's got little Rice Krispies in it. So it's got a nice texture. Look at a nice solid B plus. Okay, and then Mr. Good Bar. These have peanuts. They're a little mushy. The peanuts are okay, but almonds have a nice nuttier, toastier flavor. Even these, I'm kind of like, man, I wish there was like peanut butter or something. Instead, I'm just getting only very mild peanut flavor. I'm gonna say B minus. I'm a little let down. I used to like these more, I think, but eh. these look pretty good. These are clearly limited edition Hershey's cookies and cream eggs with polka dots. I mean, if they're like the cookies and cream I love, where the fuck are the polka dots? What? There's no fucking polka dots. What the fuck? Look at that cover. They have polka dots on them. Okay. They're very faint, but... That first one, I think, was just a, like a bizarre one. It had no cookies in it. So it was just chalky white chocolate. But this has the little cookie polka dots. So then it tastes good. It's not as good as the bar. 
because it's again the texture wise a little chalkier, a little too much chocolate. I will still say an A minus. I still think they're good. Now we have these Hershey's Colliders. They're like puddings and you put chocolate pieces in them. This one is chopped chocolate flavored dessert with dark chocolate pieces. Here are the dark chocolate pieces. I f Did I not bring a fucking spoon? I'll use my cute Kirby Cafe spoon. Side just like a chocolate pudding. And pour these on top. I don't know what kind of sicko out there wants chocolate topped with chocolate, but okay, let's try it out. The chocolate pudding itself is very watery, kind of like what you'd expect from cheap chocolate pudding. So the chocolate pieces help with some texture. Mediocre chocolate pudding with little pieces of dark chocolate aren't, it's not that good. You know, it's like a C for me. I, I, wouldn't want this at all. But now let's see how I feel about the Collider's twisted version with cookies and cream. Take, put the pudding, and then you flip on top. Wow, how novel. That's pretty damn good. The vanilla pudding is mild and sweet and creamy. The cookies add a really nice crunch, and together it has a nice rich, you know, like you're eating a nice cookie cream pudding, which is really what it is, but... Hmm. Yeah, that's really pleasant. I'm gonna give that an A. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it an A. Alright, that was 20 different Hershey's products. Oh. The favorite was, no surprise, the Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Definitely the best. The worst was, like, most of it. But I guess technically the zero sugar. But... I don't know, man. A lot of these are just the same shit in different shapes and still mediocre. Anything with texture is a plus. Otherwise, there's much better chocolate out there. Don't bother.